With the baseball season fast approaching, I still have a few areas to improve in my swing. Coming off the Bon Jelic drill, my numbers were looking better, but I still need to build a more in-to-out swing and improve my time to contact. That's where Nelson Cruz comes in. A few weeks ago, I saw some of his hitting drills circulating Twitter. A few of them stood out to me on things that would help my bat path and improve my swing. There's two drills I'm going to focus on. One T, where you set the T deep, about mid-body and mid-plate or so. You're about a ball or two away from the T, and you really try to drive the ball down the right field line. The other being an offset 45 degree angle flip from behind you. Now Nelson Cruz does this drill one handed, his top hand, but for me, I'm gonna be using both hands just doing a regular swing. Take it and just like that, just like that. But 71 plane, 74 connection, that's what we're working on. My first swing off the tee, 71% plane efficiency and 74 out of 80 connection. You can immediately see how this drill builds a good in to out bat path. I took about 10 more swings off the tee. I ended up topping at 82 plane efficiency. Starting off, I hit 87 plane on the soft toss drill. My machine throws vary quite a bit. Um, some are further, some are higher, some are lower, some don't throw as far. Um, so it just adds a little bit of adjustability into the drill. On a swing that I thought was bad, I broke into the 90s plane for the first time. 90, wow. My bat pass scores were higher day one than they were any day while doing the Bon Jelic drill. Machine work started out great, an easy 10-4 followed by 11-7 with an 81 plane efficiency seeing immediate improvement from those drills just doing those drills one time we would get up to 86 plane efficiency as our high and i was able to pull the ball in the air with a tight quick bat path that was smoked 11-3 baby there we go we ended the day with a 12 rotational acceleration <laughs> and we averaged 54 out of 80 plane and connection. When the plane scores read out, that's a percentage out of 100, but these numbers at the end, those are 54 out of 80. Blast motion does a thing. You know how in baseball they do 20 to 80 rating scale. That's how blast motion sums up the plane connection and rotation scores. T-work felt iffy on day two, but I was still able to get up to 79 plane efficiency. 79. There we go. As I moved into the soft toss, it turned out great. I hit multiple 92 and 93 plane efficiencies. That's higher than I've ever been before. I've never been a fan of tee work, and you can see why here. It sort of domes me up, and the more I do, the worse I do. I think it's just because there's a ball sitting there. You don't have the focus of just seeing the ball and hitting the ball or having an external cue. There's too much room for thinking about what your body's doing instead of using one cue or an external cue to make yourself better. But soft toss went well despite that. We were able to break into the 90s plane efficiency again. 90, there we go, baby. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 14 2. And I hit a PR of 14.2 rotational acceleration, just slightly higher than we were last week in the Bon Jelic drill. Now this pitching machine doesn't work well when it's wet outside. The balls are only about two ounces and any sort of wetness adds too much weight for the machine to handle. So I always have to switch the sliders when it's wet outside. There we go, baby. But for whatever reason, the sliders still weren't working well. I had to have them like way too high. Anytime I set it up like middle or low zone, they would just dive into the ground within a few pitches. 
Okay. On day four, I just completely ditched the T. Started out with soft toss, and this turned out to be great. I hit a 96 plane efficiency. That's almost perfection. 96. That's insane. Okay. I would end up hitting 96 again before moving on to the machine. 96 again. Okay, that's how I ended. It was definitely a bat path kind of day though. Bat speeds and rotation numbers were down. I was very slow that day. I was very sore. I just wasn't swinging hard. You can tell I'm not getting into my legs that well. Video of day five has been purged from existence. I headed to the Superdome that day and honestly I just needed a few days off to regroup before returning to this drill. And I would return with a vengeance. My plane numbers only topped out at 84 for the day, but my rotation numbers absolutely skyrocketed. I hit multiple 13s and 14s, and to end the drill, I hit a 15.2, and then a 16.1 PR. That's a huge PR, beating out my lifetime 15.6 PR from 2019 before any of the injuries set in. Starting out with a cage bomb, I then smoked a ground ball up the middle for absolute PR of 13.1 off the machine. I felt great for the day. My swing was quick, compact, and I was barreling up baseballs all over the field. Finishing it out with a smooth 10.7 line out to the second baseman. If we compare our final day numbers from the Bond Yelich drill to the final day numbers here with the cruise drill, my plane jumped 10 points, my connection jumped 7 points, and my rotational acceleration max jumped up 2 points. All of that leads to a better bat path, a quicker swing, and my time to contact went from 0.16 to 0.15, finally in an acceptable range. I even hit 0.14 one time during the last day. Hopefully we see more of that moving forward. Now my bat speed's definitely plummeted. If we look at fastball only data, then you can see that my bat speeds dropped from sitting in the 72 range to sitting in the 68 to 69 range. Um, Losing three mile per hour bat speed is not ideal, uh, not what we're looking for, but I think we'll be able to build that back up with our better bat path. If you think my attack angle dropped a lot during the Bond Jelich drill, it dropped even more during the cruise drill. Now I was sitting around zero to two attack angle against fastballs at the end of that drill, but now I'm sitting at negative five. That was my average the last day and the day before. That's why I'll be hitting these next week.